Cool. Are you gonna load? There we go. All right. Swag man. Games are actually good. Sure. But getting mad at video games is so much fun. I really like this opening cutscene. So I'm gonna watch this as many times as I can. Or some of it. The CG is so... so decent for its time. I can't not watch it. The bad CG faces are all that I wanted there. I needed that. Now we're good to go. And again, I'll show this every time we, we do Swagman. This, this thing is so absurd. How did they ever think that this is a good idea? How? How and why? And also, why is the, the C in change character capitalized and the I in inventory capitalized? But nothing else is. <laughs> Come on, core design. Please. This game is this game is actually pretty good. Alright, so we're on Main Street. Apparently we're we're very close to the end of the game. All right. So where we where we last left off, um, I need to make my way over to the next screen over. And oh, not get hit. That might actually be a problem. Go solve an item puzzle, or like a, a pushing block puzzle, on the next screen. So if you haven't seen Swagman before, it's it's pretty much Zelda. Yeah, the music is excellent in this game. It's like actually excellent. So, so far there's only been... Okay, so there's the boy. We need to get over there. I have to go all the way around this area to get to him. There's really only been one super difficult part of this game. And that was the first boss. The first boss was just... Non-stop bullshit. I actually had to use cheat codes to get past the first boss. After that, it's been kind of smooth sailing. So there's been some weird... Like difficulty spikes in this game. Uh, this way. All right, so we're um, we're trying to get a uh, a key here to some of these basements um, in the screen to our right. So I made it um, through this section already. I got to the. Um, the top of the tower in uh, this garden area over here. And then there just happened to be an exploding enemy right next to where you spawn, and it just killed me instantly. And that's when I just, I called it last night. So now that I know that thing is there, we should be good. But I gotta move these statues now to unlock the front door. Yep. 
We're actually almost done getting our swag on. And I think when I beat this game, I'll be like the like third person ever in the history of anything to beat this game. So get ready for that. Apparently pretty much everybody who got this game gave up on the first boss because the first boss was just bullshit. So is me, it's gonna be me, it's gonna be the guy who wrote that FAQ, and it's gonna be Blue Glass, apparently, is the third person. <laughs> so that's the that's the plan for tonight, is to beat Swagman. Um, we're also pretty close to the, uh, the end of um, Persona, so we're likely going to beat Persona 1 tonight as well. Um, and then we might get some, uh, Tony Hawk in today. Yeah, the guy who made the walkthrough definitely used Game Shark. He called upon the power of Game Shark. Alright. So when I get to the top of this clock tower, there's gonna be a zombie up there. I'm going to throw my frisbee immediately once I get in there, and hopefully I don't die. Alright, right in here. This killed me within a second of me going in through the door last time I did this, so... Go in here, throw the frisbee. Fuck off, zombie. Okay. So you can see that zombie is right next to you. And when those things blow up... There's nothing you can do about it. That's uh, the first Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. Yeah, it, it was a real dick move. <laughs> 